Hello everyone. Today we're going to have a look at some simple scoring just to be able to help you to score the normal contracts that you might play at the club or at home if you've got a group of four that are playing bridge, you know, don't want to say around the kitchen because that's a bit cliche, but yes, at the kitchen table or something. Okay. So let's bring up scoring always starts with the book it's not a physical book declare is expected to make the first six tricks yeah. typically declare has more than half the high card points therefore they're expected to make more than half the tricks you don't get any score for making the first six tricks. Okay, this is known as the book. Yeah. It's actually called the book because people, when they used to play whist, would stack the first six tricks all on top of each other and then start counting the scoring tricks later. So you get points for each trick you score, starting from the seventh trick. Because of this, it, this is how the number of tricks taken is actually related to the, the number on the bidding cards that you use. If we open one spade, that's seven tricks in spades. But it's actually only one scoring trick in spades, which is why it's one spade. We're only scoring one spade trick effectively. Okay. Bit of background. <laughs> For the purposes of scoring, it suits a given points. No trumps is, can be a, a little trickier than trumps. The defense might be able to run, run a long suit at, uh, at Declarer. So it's given the little wrinkle 40 points for the first trick and 30 points for subsequent tricks. The majors, spades and hearts, they're 30 points a trick, and clubs and diamonds are 20 points a trick. Okay. So, if we bid two clubs and make two clubs, that's two scoring tricks, we'll get 20 points a trick. So, as a base number, we'll get 40 points from our two scoring tricks in clubs. Okay, so how we get to game. Why is game, you know, four hearts or five clubs? Well, it's all to do with the scoring. We aim to get to the magical number of 100 points. Yeah, we hope or we'd like to get our scoring tricks to add up to 100 points or more. Yeah, and if we contract for that, it's a game. So in no trumps, the first point, the first trick is worth 40, as you can see on the, the table in front of you. The second scoring trick, first one's 40, the second one's 30. So that, that adds up to 70. After three scoring tricks in no trumps, we've got 40 plus 30 plus 30. That makes 100. That's why three no trumps is game. In the majors, spades and hearts, we need four scoring tricks of 30, 30 points each to push us over that 100 barrier. So game is four spades and four hearts. Our clubs and diamonds, because they're only 20 points per trick, we've got to go all the way to, we've got to make five scoring tricks. Yeah. To make our game. Plus the six from the book, that's why it's 11 tricks. It's very hard to make 11 tricks. 
Nine tricks is a lot easier if possible. Bonuses. You get a little bonus. I think Jack calls the parts called the Brucey bonus. Um, so if you if you're contracted to make a part score, you know, the auction ends in two hearts. If you make your contract, you get 50 points. On just a little bonus for you. If we go all the way to game, we get 300 points if we're non-vulnerable or 500 points if we're vulnerable. Again, looking at vulnerability might be a different video. So just a wrinkle in the scoring. If you go over the number of tricks you've contracted, there's no punishment. You actually gain the extra scoring trick bonus for that. For example, go back to the previous slide. If I played in one no trump, yeah, a part score, but we ended up making nine tricks, well, we met, we'll count our points for the three scoring tricks. So we'll get 40, 30, and 30. So that'll be three scoring tricks. But because we were only contracted for a part score, we only get the part score bonus. Okay. So, a little quiz for you now. How many points do we score for making three hearts? I'll give you a moment. If you want to take more time, please pause the video now. Okay. So, three hearts is making nine tricks. That's three scoring tricks in a major suit. So, we're going to take three lots of 30, as we can see on screen. Makes 90. Add on the 50 part score bonus because we declared a part score. It's 140 points. Okay. Let's have a go at another. Two no trump. And we make plus two. How many tricks is that? Should be 10. Hope you answered 10. Okay. So, again, have a go at scoring it in your head, or if you need a pen and paper, grab those. If you need more time, please pause the video now. Okay. Two no trump making 10 tricks. It's four scoring tricks in no trumps. So we've got 40 for the first trick and 30 for scoring tricks two three and four yeah so that makes 130 points yeah plus the 50 from the part score bonus because we only declared a part score last one for you how many points do we score for making four spades plus three non-vulnerable As always, if you need to take a moment, please pause the video now. Okay. Four spades making 13 tricks. It's a lot of tricks. Sometimes we might make that through bidding a little less than we should do. There is extra bonuses for slams and grand slams, but we'll look at that another time. Four spades making 13 tricks, seven scoring tricks in spades. Yeah. Don't forget to add the non vulnerable game bonus of 300. So there's a lot of 30s on the screen right now. We scored seven lots of 30 because we made seven score at week. Well, we had seven scoring tricks in a major for 210 points. Yeah plus the 300 for the game should equal 510 points. Okay, 
So have a practice. You can think of contracts and numbers of tricks and try scoring them. But that's a very, very simple guide to scoring all of the very common uh, bridge contracts that you'll end up playing. Little bit at the end. Fifth is 50 points if the defend uh, per under trick. If you're non, if your declare is non-vulnerable, it's 100 points for each under trick if declare is vulnerable. Other than that, you've got everything you need to score a casual game of bridge. Thanks all for watching. Uh, check out some of the other videos on the YouTube channel. We've got lots of great teachers. And yeah, I'll catch you soon. Bye, everyone.